The good thing is because we travel slow, we get the opportunity to do stuff like that. Yeah. And we want, like, this is what our channel is sort of about. This is what our travels are about. Finding stuff like this in really cool areas with local people drinking local beer, overlooking a river, like this is travel. So we said in our last video, in this one, we would be going to the Pride Castle <laughs> and seeing all of that stuff. But we're not. We're not. <laughs> we, um, we went to the g Easy concert on Friday night. Hey! So epic. And it was so cool. And it was in this area called Carlin. Yeah. And we were wandering around and we were like, this area is our kind of... Yeah, I had a good feel. Like we yeah. both were like, wow, this area is quite cool. Because all we did was just map it and it said, get off at this station, walk this distance. And then we started thinking like, we love doing all the tourism stuff because it's a good way to know what a city is about. It's like, they're like yeah. the, like this, the, what am I trying to say? They're like the landmarks, you, you know? You have to, it's the history. You gotta learn all that stuff. But then also we're like, we like seeing a completely different side and we like sharing different sides of cities as well that there's more, there's cool neighborhoods, there's different areas, there's like these hipster yeah. vibes, there's street art, there's all of this fun stuff to discover. So, so that's our plan for today. But first we've got to go down, buy ourselves some tram tickets, which we can use for 30 minutes, which gives us enough time to get down to Andal, jump on a tram, uh, sorry, jump on the underground then and head out to this area. We're not really sure what we're going to find when we get there, but we're going to walk around, there's good cafes. Kalin, probably Kaleen. Kaleen? We don't know how to pronounce Sorry. <laughs> we don't know the pronunciation. That's how it reads to us, Kalin. So we're walking the streets now and we're just, honestly, we're just winging it. We have absolutely no, we have no destination. We know we want to get coffee. Coffee. We yeah. want to get some food. So we might do some research as we go, but walking towards, you can see these big like sphere looking things. It looks like maybe it's a circle or a square or something, maybe a church or something down there. So we're literally just going to start wandering in that direction and see where it takes us. But already, yeah, it kind of feels a little bit like the streets of Berlin where yeah. we stayed. Like the cobblestone, cobblestone yeah. like walkways and stuff. Less people, Less people. just feels already. The, the pace has slowed a lot and I think that's what we look for. We like cities, but I think we like small neighbourhoods in big yeah, cities. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> yeah. So it's a Sunday, which we thought would be a really cool day to come out, but it's actually quite quiet in the streets. Coffee is always a good place to start. I've just seen this place, which is actually, uh, just done a quick Google, it's a really popular place. It has just gone 12.30ish though, so other spots should be opening soon. But first things first, coffee. The coffees were really good. Came to 140 crown or 140 karuna, which is, I think, fairly standard pricing. Yeah, like, everywhere we've seen has been about the same. Yeah. Uh, now we're walking in a very, it's a very strange area. <laughs> yeah, it's like apartments. There's a volleyball, like a fake yeah, beach. Yeah, fake down. beach volleyball court. <laughs> yeah. It looks really run down, but then also really developed. Kind of new. Yeah, there's a whole apartment Can complex and stuff being. No, that's right. Good point. So in 2002, we read that there, hit, there were actually some really bad floods in this area. Yeah. So I think that's why it's kind of like up and coming and 
why there's yeah. loads of new buildings and loads of old buildings as well. Yeah, I think that's the sort of areas that we like finding is where there's that real mix. Yeah. Because if you can feel like there's like an uprising, like a new culture developing, and I think from what we read very briefly, some uh, a local person said that it was a good chance to like wipe out both the good and the bad and restart. Um, wow, there's this really cool area. Okay, <laughs> this okay, we'll turn the camera. <laughs> <at us. laughs> All right, we'll film this stuff so you can see what's going on. So over here you have Stacy. No, I'm kidding. So you got the old buildings like that, then these really new buildings. These are all new apartments down what looks like a big this is like a big walkway there's people running all the way down here and then this is heading towards the river's edge where there's like old derelict like concrete buildings and stuff come around this side there's the volleyball court that we're talking about just in the middle of nowhere and then through here I think is where we're going like weird concrete statues and stuff but like they're serving beer and everything it's all just very very odd but has got a really cool feeling about it so we're gonna just walk down this direction and maybe in here and see what's going on. Thoughts? Yeah, should we get a drink? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Very enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Oh wow, look, we're right down on the water's edge, babe, as well, through here. So English is an actually that widely spoken in Prague from what we can find anyway. You can get very, very basic. Um, so I don't know if you've, if you haven't seen another one about the videos, we've been using Google Translate so that we can hold the photo over something and it sort of tries to translate stuff. So we just did it on the menu and one of the beers that we were going to get said non-alcoholic. So Lucky you didn't Google, that, eh? you saved us. Um, we got two different drinks because we can't really communicate to figure out what they are. They're just the top two beers that were on the list. 500 mils and I think it was uh, 100 and, what did we pay? 178. Oh, 50 deposit for the cups each. This one <laughs> looks really like red. red. I'll just try the normal one first though. It's a nice beer. Really? I don't even know how to explain beer. <laughs> Bubbly. <laughs> yeah. That is that is really nice, but I just want to see what this one's all about because this is like red and I'm scared weird. Of that one. really nice that is so this one is like um, it is definitely beer we were worried it might be like a cider or something it's like a um, like a craft like it's florally oh, yeah. almost like like an IPA or something like that I think which I don't know if that's really a thing here this just tastes like a good solid like Czech sort of lager and then that one's a bit of bit florally but this area is just so cool I mean it's really hard it's, it, the good thing is because we travel slow we get the opportunity to do stuff like that yeah. and we want like this is what our channel is sort of about this is what our travels are about we love seeing the monuments and all the big stuff like we mentioned in the next video you watch will literally be us going to the castle with a thousand of our closest friends from within <laughs> the city walls but this right here this is the stuff that really makes us smile and we just love finding something we can't hear any English around us nobody here is speaking English um, yeah, I don't know. This is this is travel time. This is Finding cool. stuff like this in really cool areas with local people drinking local beer overlooking a river like this is travel. <laughs> no, don't fall down because I'm filming you. Oh shit! <laughs> this is so random. Ooh. Is this like what would you call it? Is this like piping or something? Yeah, it's like an old pipe. Yeah. Wow, well, it's concrete actually. Wow. Cool. How random. So that was a great little spot for for a beer and like an area to chill out. Stacy did, did a little bit of research on it as well. Yeah, so it turns out that that area was actually developed by a couple of friends who just weren't so keen on how it was, like that riverfront bit. Because it's just a bit dry and just yeah. like dead along yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, so then they created this little bar area. Yeah. And now it's a place, I think they hold like events and stuff yeah. there. Well, it looks like it was like a kid's birthday party about to start. Yeah. People were just coming in, bringing their bags of coal and their like sausages and their meat. And oh, we're just like, like cooking up stuff. barbecues. Yeah. So cool. Uh, so now we're heading to, this is quite funny actually, coffee, beer, beer chicken. chicken. <laughs> Those are our favorite <laughs> if you, things. <laughs> if you've been watching us for a while, you know that that's literally like us to a T. So we're going to go, <laughs> we're just heading around the road here about 300 meters and there's a, a chicken joint apparently, which does like really nice local grilled chicken. Well, 
you win some, you lose some. The chicken was really good, but price-wise, there's definitely a bit of value to be found in this city, um, which we were a little bit surprised by, but we were committed to that spot as we thought we'd sit down. We heard really good reviews, and we can understand why it was really delicious. If there's one thing that Europe does really well, it's parks and open spaces mm. and like community <laughs> spots where people can hang out. And because you can drink in public here, everybody just like grabs lunch or yeah. just beers or whatever and just comes to parks and just hangs out and just, and, and there's no craziness. No, it's all very like chill it's, it's and civil. calm. We're sitting in a park right now and there's just people sunbathing, people with their families. <laughs> We've seen a lot of skin today. <laughs> People sunbathing, <laughs> spritzing themselves with baby oil. Yeah, there's a very, very old woman spraying herself yeah. with like, what you used baby to... Oil, baby oil. Baby oil, very yeah. Good. Yeah. Um, yeah, today has been awesome. I really, really enjoy these days off the beaten path. Yeah. More of a local feel, not Me as too. touristy. Mm. Um, yeah. That's been really cool. Really fun. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and... We'll catch you in the comments. <laughs> Bye. Bye.